Hi friends. Welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, April 2024, the wrap up. So here they are, all of the pens. And I thought we'd go over favorites or not so favorites. Now, color wise, the inks, obviously I like all of them. I picked them because I liked them. Um, I'm also, for the record, gonna review the 30 drinks and tell you about any favorites or least favorites. Um, so I'm, also, I'm looking forward to that revisiting as well. First, we're just, where are we? Opening it to this page. I'm going to start off with the stinker. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Well, I know it's this pen and I think I know which ink it is. The combination was so bad. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting something. Let me pause. All right. I actually did do a transcription project. So I, this is a book I've made that I haven't put in a cover yet. I just kind of want to do a stiffened paper one and blah, blah, blah. So what I transcribed is an Agatha Christie short story called The Missing Will. And because I finished that one, I started the, uh, what is it called? Mystery on the Plymouth Express, the Plymouth Express Affair. So I think, yeah, right here. here so this paper is Tomorrow River, uh, 68 GSM and I basically hated it. Uh, partly that has to do with the fact that I bound this and therefore touched the pages more than they would normally be touched. And this paper hates hand oils. So um, what I would find on, on Cosmo Air was I had no problem writing, but you'd get sections where the ink just kind of didn't take but the rest of it was fine. This one, like it, it was a struggle to get any ink on here and I almost quit. And so that is, yes, Troublemaker Abalone. I hated it so much that immediately after finishing this page, I, I dumped the ink. I, I, so I need to clean it out the pen because I didn't do that yet, but this was an awful experience, <laughs> just awful. Um, <laughs> the ink I like, the pen I like, the combination, especially on this paper was just horrible to where I kind of wanted to go look at how it looked here. Like this was fine, but it was juicy. I had just inked it. And that drink, the Jungle Bird, was quite good. So, may not have liked the ink, but I like the drink. Whoop. Um, anyway, this was the absolute worst combo. And again, it's not that the ink's bad or the pen's bad. The combination is bad. Um, I'll, I'll page through this really quickly. So, biggest surprise slash one that I loved. I don't know. Do I want to say more than I expected? I think that's fair actually is this one it was the first one of the month which was um Lamy Blackberry I think I want to buy a bottle of this um partly because of the dark lilac FOMO but also I really liked it um in the writing you could see that here there was tons of sheen but in the actual longer writing which by the way I started late so they weren't freshly inked this sheen does not take over it. It's a nice color. I mean, it's almost like, it's an almost black, which I think is nice for if, if you, I don't know, the concept of like work appropriate inks escapes me because I write only for myself for work. And also pink is usually not a work appropriate hair color. So we know I already don't fit in. Anyway, I loved the Lamy Blackberry. Um, so we said we were going to page through and I'll tell you, so this was Blackberry, the dark lilac. I've actually liked 
this experience. This pin has a fine nib and it has been really uh, not flowing well. The writing in general for this pen has been dry, but with this ink, it wrote nicely. And when I've needed to write in some smaller spaces, I've found that this pen was able to do that really well. So it's, I can't believe it's not dark lilac, um, but the experience, like the pen isn't lilac, the ink is, anyway, whatever. Better than I expected. Sorry, I, I paused briefly, so who knows, maybe there was an awkward cut there. Um, another one I didn't like as much as I thought I would was uh, this Deck the Halls in the transparent purple. I think I need to work on this nib a little more. It, it's I think it has baby's bottom, excuse me, has peaching. <laughs> and so with a dryer, with a non-lubricated ink, it wasn't as great. But look at this. All the ones I've called out so far are this lovely family here that's so pretty together. Um, we can come to my absolute favorite of the month. I hope this isn't a surprise. Um, I stopped flipping. Um, where did I put that? I was just writing with it earlier. This, you aren't it. Where'd you go? right in front of me. Dokdo and Cerulean Blue. I loved it a whole lot. Oh, also the actual dark lilac. Hearts. And I really also liked my, the Eodo in the Safari a whole lot because I liked it. I like the ink a whole lot, but we're looking through. We're looking through. I also really liked Humpback Whale. So quite quite a good thing. My, three of my new inks I really love were some of my favorites. Shiny Black I like, but I also hate. <laughs> yeah, you have inks like that, I'm sure, too. California Raisin, I love. I actually really like how it looks when it's been sitting and has dried up a little. I like this. Uh, I did not love 224. It did show up pretty well. Um, it's good when you don't have to read what you've written. <laughs> and sometimes that's the case. Sometimes you're just writing to get things out of your head. Um this opportunity, I think is that one in the, mm, yeah, my M205, that was a nice one. Mombato's hat, lovely. I think some weirdness is happening with my lights, apologies. Honestly, they're all good. I, I'm struggling to find a bad one other than the really awful one because they're just so good. Oh, I didn't love this. The nib is too fine. And the ink, I, I kind of wanted it to be darker because it can be when you lay it down thicker. So this wasn't a favorite. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't a favorite. Uh, Wayfarer is pretty, but there's like no shimmer in this. So that was kind of a disappointment. Um, Tsuji obviously loved it. And, oh, this one, my mellow blue with milky ocean, not a favorite. I think I would have liked a more lubricated ink in this pen. Um, it's just a, I had to keep coming in here to prime the feed. So I'm almost out and I will be, I'll probably write it dry because, you know, it was a birthday pen and I like want the first fill to be special. Um, at any rate, and Emerald of Shavor, this was probably another favorite. Um, th this uh, is just a delightful experience for me just wonderful. <laughs> so I think though, if I have, let's, let's try and do top five. Okay. Um, 
By the way, sorry, there's some water running. If you hear that, it's okay. Nothing to worry about. Do we think so? I think my favorites for this Midori cotton paper might be different than for the Tamoa River. Um, oh, I'll say this, The Witch by Starlight was also a tough one. I think what I've discovered is that the shading and shimmering inks are kind of a nightmare. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because they're not as lubricated and they're shimmer and that's two things working against them for coming out of nibs. Um, see, look at how pretty this is, but it was not fantastic. It has felt dry sometimes. Oh, spoilers. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I think. Ooh, this is a tough one. So, yeah, okay. Top five are Lamy Dark Violac, Dok Do. Uh, Iodo, Emerald of Shavor, and then tied for fifth place is California Raisin and No Torno, No Torno Viola. So, in, I mean, these are some lovely pins too. I'm forever sad that this Twisby crack or Twisby, that this Lamy cracked right here. I super glued it. It is a bummer. Um, if we look at our drinks, interestingly, I don't love Dokto as much on this paper. Probably not a surprise because it's warmer, but I do still love the Yodo. Ugh, Deck the Hall is gorgeous on there. Dark lilac. Y'all, dark lilac. Mm-hmm. 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 Shiny black, amazing. Humpback whale is great on this one. Y'all won't be surprised, but I accidentally basically bought another bottle of ink in this color. Disappointed in myself. Uh, this one's really nice too. Tab one, I love it. And I also like the Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a as a drink. And look at 224 is beautiful. Is that what I was writing with earlier? Huh. Maybe? Oh, I... This is going to sound heretical coming from me. But this wasn't a favorite. Y'all, Earl Grey in my Pelican M605. I think this isn't a very wet writer. And I prefer this in that kind of experience. But I feel awful saying that. Like, I feel like I'm letting myself down. Um, we're just looking back through the month. Still love this. So let's just look at the colors. And, and can I pick just based on color? No, I mean Dokdo. Dokdo is my number one. I think Dark Lilac might be my number two. Oh, I love Hissy Fit, Yodo, Humpback Whale. I mean, wait, is there any of these I don't like? Because I love them all. No, I love them all. <laughs> Just if we look at the colors, all of them are winners for me. So we can't go by that. And same with the pins. All of these pins are winners. This one, the Caveco Perkeo is like unsung hero of a pen. It is so inexpensive and yet so delightful to write with. And what something I love about this pen is it having a clear feed um, really helps you understand how a fountain pen works, I think. Um, and it also helps give you an idea of when the pen is clean. Now, lastly, we have the drinks. So real quickly, we'll go over them. Started off, gin and tonic, never a bad one. 
Barbados Punch, an Old Fashioned using Basil Hayden, Pineapple Apple Cider, cut a hole in the box, that's my riff on a Caparina, Water, mm -hmm. Earl Grey Tea, I'll be honest, not including water. If there was one drink that I had all mine that I can't do without, it's Earl Grey tea. So I'm excluding that and water. <laughs> because one needs their water. Uh, dirty Martini. Uh, cosmopolitan Margarita. Kaitur Swizzle. Jungle Bird Mai Tai. Humuhumu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. Tangerine Dream Kombucha. Masala Chai. Chicken Broth. <laughs> Hemingway Daiquiri, Kentucky Mule, Pink Gin, Cranberry Lime Juice, Aviation, Painkiller, Siesta, Don't Call Me Shirley, Pink Pussycat, Milk Tea with Boba, Planter's Punch, Jamaican Milk Punch, and Merlot. So there were two drinks that I really didn't like. Um, one of them was the Pink Gin. Partly that could be because I was not feeling well, but... And my sense of taste wasn't quite right, but also meh. And then the other one was my dirty martini. Dumped it. I hated it. <laughs> and I don't like to waste food or drink, you know, but that was awful. Uh, probably a combination of reasons for that. Uh, one might be that I, I don't know if I like gin martinis, aka martinis, because you only have to specify the alcohol if it's not gin. IMO. Did I have a favorite? I really liked the painkiller. So, I liked, oh, I did like boba tea. Let's not include that though. The milk punch kind of surprised me. I liked it. The cranberry lime juice was delicious. The painkiller, oh yes, because it's pineapple and coconut. Of course, I loved it. Um, was really good. The daiquiri, loved it. I love daiquiris. Um, a surprise that I loved was the margarita because I don't generally love tequila drinks, I think, but then it turns out I do, or at least I liked that one. But basically, I liked all of these drinks except for the couple I mentioned. Oh, no. The k Swizzle, I've still been thinking of. That ma maple syrup was amazing, and I want to find more recipes that use maple syrup. So I think, uh, yeah. Did I make any sense for which ones I liked? Maybe. Maybe not. But overall, I'm going to call this... 30 inks, 30 drinks, 30 days, a success. Uh, the, the inks, beautiful. The pens, beautiful. And I thought about doing a currently inked for May, but there's 29 from just April, and that doesn't include the ones that were already inked. So I, I have over 30 pens inked right now, and it's kind of stressing me out. But many of these are close to empty, so it's it's okay. And some of them, I'm okay with not finishing them because the combination wasn't good. Or like in the case of Earl Grey, I have like two bottles of that. It's fine. Um, I, I'm I'm not in danger of running out. Um, but this was thirty inks, thirty days, thirty drinks. For April 2024, I'm going to call it a success because I had fun and I managed to stick through it despite getting caught by the horrible illness. Four years I evaded it, friends. Four years I evaded it and it finally got me. But you know what? I am weaker for it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all for all your well wishes throughout the month and your comments. It really, really meant a lot to me. And, and um, I'm currently planning to do this in June, but we shall see because work is kind of getting busy. Uh, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.